if you have a teen in the house or say a man in his 30s like myself, then you know and love the Netflix show Never Have I Ever. It's so good. It's a coming of age story created by the brilliant Mindy Kaling about a first generation Indian American teenager played by the brilliant Maitreyi Ramakrishnan. And it is filled with love and laughs. Take a look. So, you want to go to dinner this weekend? Oh, yeah, like heat up your mom's leftovers and play Fortnite in your garage with Trent and Marcus? Sure. Damn, is that what our dates are like? Mm-hmm. That sucks. No, like, a real date. Like, romantic. Have you ever been to CPK? CPK, a.k.a. California Pizza Kitchen? Only the preeminent fast casual pizza chain in the U.S. Now that's a date. I wish I could go. Yeah, sure. I love pizza. <laughs> CPK, oh my God, the proportions. It makes me miss the barbecue chicken pizza. Right, yes, yes, yes. I that mean, fire. Mindy, I don't know like what kind of genius exists inside your brain, but you're creating <laughs> all of these shows, hits. these hits, everything that make us want to like either go back to high school or be different in high school, go back to college and actually have sex. I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's how I'm feeling too. It's like, a, it's so nice to make these shows were about young women who are completely unafraid. They don't have the same hang-ups I had. Yeah. It was just like a chubby, repressed <laughs> kid who hated my body. Like, these are young women who are, like, confident. I think we're so lucky that my tree is the lead on Never yes. Have I Ever because she does such an amazing job. She really and does. so great, you know? How has your life changed since being on this show? Oh, my God. Like, in every way possible. I mean, before, I was just in high school, <laughs> living my life, and, you know, Grew up in the same area my entire life. I was, like, in school with the same people in elementary school, middle school, high school, and then suddenly I'm meeting a whole bunch of different people. The first time I'm away from Canada, so that's insane. Wow. What do your friends think? Um, they actually forget that I'm famous sometimes, to be honest. <laughs> like, genuinely, no matter what magazine cover I do, no matter what I show I get to go on, they, like, forget. <laughs> Well, you know what? They're Give really me their numbers. I will remind them <laughs> every second of the way. I love this. Yes, right? Please, please. Mindy, we were saying you are having a moment. Like, we were saying that not it's only it's the summer of Mindy. We declared Mindy. it. I don't know if, you know, we also declared Tell me more. Grandma. Yes, tell me and more. And that took off in Feral Girl Summer. <laughs> please. That took off. I love summer of Mindy. It's the summer of Mindy. You're looking incredibly beautiful. Oh, and you posted you. something which I resonated with and loved. You said something to the extent of, I didn't peak in high school. I'm still out here getting cuter. Same. Well, that is that is the great poet Jack Harlow. Yes, it and, is. Um, <laughs> the great poet Jack Harlow. And uh, I just, you know, it's like we're getting out of COVID. I had my kids. I just wanted to be healthy and like yes. wear sexy clothes. And, you know, she inspires me so much. I mean, look at her. She's yes. so gorgeous. And I just, um, yeah, you know. No, I feel you. I mean, I it's like after that baby, it's like it takes a bit. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm ready to have fun and be be a mom, but also like a, a mom that has their own life. And you're also building an empire. Oh, thank you. You are. Yeah, thank you. I mean, what is that? Like, how has that changed everything for you? Well, you know, so many of my shows are about young women. So I feel blessed to have them in my life. It makes me feel young. I mean, she's constantly giving me advice <laughs> from everything from like fashion, culture, TikTok. Jack Harlow, like, <laughs> like it's just, it makes me feel young and I just feel blessed because I have kids and I want to yeah. be that mom that like, you know, knows stuff. So yeah. I really Ooh. love working with young women and particularly like the young women of color and all the shows that I work on. Mm -hmm. It's just great. And you have a daughter. Yes. You know what? I feel bad. Because when your daughter tries to get away with things in high school and college, you're like, you can't. Because not only did I live it, but I wrote it, produced it, <laughs> yeah. and put it on HBO. Are these shows gearing you up to being a mom for a teenager? I really hope not. Yeah, really? because say. some of the stuff, these shows <laughs> are... scared. These are like horny kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> these are like no, we did, maybe horny didn't kids. live it. Right? Yeah, maybe, and that's why you're writing it. Maybe it'll be like more of a cautionary tale for them <laughs> rather maybe. than that. I mean, were you like luck. this in high school? No. I mean, tried to, but not as not not and not no. not as confident as these women, which is also an awesome example. For also all girls. wasn't cute in high school and college. <laughs> I can't like, believe that. Yeah. You know, God I was mean, fair. God these, was fair. Funny. He made me cute my 29s. <laughs> I don't know. This, this all arm. came at like 29. This arm is okay. Also, my my tree, we loved this thing you talked about 
about your baddie grandma that you got oh everything God. from yes. her. Yes, my baddie grandma. I realize I talk about my grandma a lot in <laughs> interviews, and she watches every single interview that I do Is at she least three right times. Now? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, she would, and she'll send it to every single WhatsApp group chat she can. <laughs> she'll send it to me as if I wasn't in the conversation. That's my personal favorite. Yeah, my grandma's a baddie. She's, she's a baddie. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Is she proud of you? Yes, she is very, very proud of me. I mean, she's like, I grew up with my grandma. I never had a babysitter. My grandma was the one that picked, picked up my brother and I from school um, every day, and I hung out at her place all the time. She did, like, all the Easter egg hunts for me, and I was like, this is the best. I, I love my grandma to death. Oh, I love uh, that. Now, we heard that you are a huge Office fan. Yes. So we want to know what's your favorite Kelly Kapoor line <laughs> ever. Um, one of my favorite moments is Ryan saying, Kelly, do you have a question? Yeah, I do. Number one, how dare you? That's a good one. And another one, I just look really good in white. That <laughs> one is <laughs> priceless. That might be mine. How'd that she do? So good. How'd she do? She was like better than the original. No. <laughs> Like being triggered back to playing that character. She was such a brat. She yeah, is. Well, she was Kelly so is. unhelpful. She wore white to somebody else's wedding. She was She's always perfect. Lying. I kind of liked her. She broke the rules. She was a past. It was nice to play that character. Yeah, yeah, well, you guys are both killing it, and we love you both. Thank you for coming by. Season three of Never Have I Ever is streaming now on Netflix.